Hey there. Thank you for watching this clip on composite functions. This question gets asked a lot. So the best way I found over the years to help students is help them visualize. When you have a function of a function, f of g of x, you start from the outside most, kind of like a putting on your jacket. Okay, You take the form of a function outside most, which is f. If f says, give me anything, I'm going to multiply by 3, I'm going to add 2. And then the stuff that inside the parentheses is what you actually give. Okay, And then from there, everything is pretty easy. And then you substitute what g of x is. It's 2x squared minus 1 plus 2. But the form is 3 something plus 2. That's function of x. Okay, so think of this function of, it doesn't have to be x, it's whatever you give me, that's this chunk, I'm going to multiply by 3 and times 2. That's what a function of f is really saying. Okay, now let's try the other way around, g of f of x. Okay, now let's go along together. What does the function g says? Well, whatever you give me, think of this x as a, think of it as apple. Okay, so whatever you give me, I'm going to go, Square it times 2 and then minus 1. So set up the form first. Okay, this is the form. It's the outmost. Okay, you go from the outmost first, set up the function, follow exactly what the g is, and then you put whatever is inside, which is f of x. Okay, from here it's pretty easy. What's f of x? It's 3x plus 2, the whole thing squared minus 1. So all I did it was substitute what f of x is. Okay. One more time. So what you do is you start from the outside most, copy the form, and then put whatever is in here into the form parenthesis. Same thing here. Okay. And this is how we solve composite functions. Hope it's clear. Please be sure to comment on YouTube and let me know if it helped you. Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel. We're here to make math fun and easy for you. Until next time, have a confident day.